Tanya? Do you know? I mean, I want to say the fall guy just because of the part about on fire with the era makes me wonder if it could be unfrosted. You're closer on the first one. It's got fall in the title. It's kind of a curveball. It's not a movie. It's streaming. But it's the number one streaming show for the last couple of weeks. It's Fallout. The Fallout. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which Rhino has watched, and he gives two thumbs up. But it's Ooh. not a family show. No. Right? No. <laughs> but it is Friday, so here on Good Things, we're talking movies with Tanya. So... What you got for us this week? Yeah, this is a great weekend. I was thinking when I was r- driving in this morning, because I had to get up early this morning to watch one of them. Um, and At I'm the theater? Like, no, it, one of like, the new streamers. <laughs> what time do they open? Yeah. <laughs> and who else and is there? I was like, it's either feast or famine. It's either like a weekend with no- nothing really good or, you know, a horror movie and mm-hmm. or three Thank great you. movies that I really am excited about. The first one is the big release in theaters this weekend, The Fall Guy. Okay. Uh, this one's PG-13. Um, I wondered why, and um, when I read some pre-stuff before seeing it, I had heard there was some language. But the language to me really wasn't that bad. I think that it is totally because of the violence. I mean, just all the stunts, you know. But this is such a great movie. It starts off, this is what movies are made for. I mean, this is like entertaining from beginning to the end. It's a solid two-hour movie, but there is no boring moment. So um, just get ready. But Ryan Gosling stars as, um, I don't know if you remember or uh, it was before your time but the fall guy the tv show um i was a little kid when it came out but it was lee majors and he was a hollywood stunt man who moonlighted um as a bounty hunter and so they sort of took that premise and and shifted it a little bit and this one he is a hollywood stunt man um and he it, you start off with him on set, you feel like you are in the on the set. It's really cool the way they do it. Um, and there's a tragic accident that basically takes him away from that world for about a year and a half. In the process, he had started a relationship with Emily Blunt's character. At that time, she was an up-and-coming camera operator with dreams of being a director. Um, and he just kind of lost everything. His life unraveled. Fast forward 18 months, and he's being called back to set. Um, but the reason is they need him not only to do to be the stunt man, but also to go behind the scenes and help uh, find the leading man who has gone missing. Um, and now his uh, love interest, played by Emily Blunt, is the director on this current movie. He is um, pulled back in under the... Uh, premise that he's helping her but she has no idea that he's been called back so lots of fun romantic uh, and misunderstandings will they won't they kind of thing Um, he is so great as a stuntman and it's just a big giant um, chef's kiss to the stunt world you know Um, and do not leave early because uh, during the final credits, you're not going to want to leave because they show some of the making, you know, behind the mm-hmm. scenes making of the movie. But then there's a bonus scene. So you certainly don't want to leave. It's, and it's really a lot of fun. Well, that, is it just like a happy ending kind of thing? Yes. Scene? It's definitely everything comes together perfectly. Gotcha. Um, the plot at first, I was like, hmm. But as the as it progresses, it makes sense, adds up. And um, I can't say anything bad about this movie. Um, David Leach, the director, is a stuntman. That was his, I mean, that's what he did. And he... Um, uh, transitioned into directing and he's directed Bullet Train, John Wick movies, Deadpool 2 so he's no stranger to action movies Um, and you've got of course Ryan Gosling Emily Blunt, Aaron Taylor Johnson plays the actor Um, at first when the movie first starts I wondered are they kind of picking at 
at Tom Cruise a little bit, the way they present this story. Um, It'd be okay if they did. He can take it. He's a big boy. Um, But, yeah, so he, as the big actor, it's him and his producing partner, who is a female, uh, played by Hannah Waddingham from Ted Lasso. She's unrecognizable. She's got dark hair, and she's a little crazy. Um, But she... um, you know, that's kind of, you know, Tom Cruise has a female mm-hmm. producing partner. So um, and then there's a running joke about him doing his own stunts. Um, and then Winston Duke is also in it as the stunt coordinator for the, the, this movie. But um, definitely, definitely want to check it out. So and, everyone would like it. You say like date yes, night, girls night, that yes. kind of thing. And yeah. I mean, there was nothing other than, you know, just the violence, yeah. but it's fake violence, if that makes sense, you know? Yeah, it's not gore. Yeah, yeah. But just lots of fun. Um, and there's a dog in the movie that kind of steals the show, too. Okay, look. Yeah. <laughs> when you say dog in the movie, does am I going to cry? Yeah. <laughs> does the dog make it out of the movie? Yeah. To the yes, end of the yes, movie? Yes, yes, okay. The dog is great. Um, and uh, all ends well for the dog. <laughs> That's very important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if you, uh, you know, can't get out this weekend for whatever reason and just have a couple of hours and you want to squeeze a movie in, Unfrosted is the new Jerry Seinfeld movie. And it's about, it's a fake origin story of the Pop-Tart. Oh, I've seen the co- like the previews for this yes, briefly. And this is the one that I got up and watched this morning. <laughs> did and you eat a pop tart? <laughs> I did, did not, you? but I kind of wanted should've. one. I've never been a pop tart person, but this movie kind of made me want one. Uh, but yeah, so you know, bottom line on this, if you like Jerry's sense of humor, if you loved Seinfeld, if you like a stand up, you're probably going to like this movie. I loved it. It was PG thirteen. Um, but yeah, it's dry humor, like very that. dry humor, it's dumb, but in the best way possible. Um, but you've got, you know, Post and Kellogg's. Kellogg's is the queen or the king of breakfast. And all of a sudden, Post decides they're going to make this Pop Tart. Um, and Kellogg's finds out about it. And so it's a race to get to the shelves first. Uh, but the best part of this movie, I mean, it's really, really funny. It it is a who's who in the comedy world. I mean, just a laundry list of comics in this movie, but they actually have all of the characters that we know, like, um, the Keebler elf, Tony, the tiger, snap, pop, pop, snap, crackle and pop, they're all in this movie, and it sounds crazy, but it is so much fun. So I definitely check that one out. Um, a little bit of language, but nothing bad. I really feel like the kids would enjoy it. Especially if they like Pop-Tarts. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other new release this weekend at home streaming on Amazon is The Idea of You. This one is rated R, so for the grown-ups. But it is based on a book. Uh, about a single mom she's 40 she she just turns 40 as the movie opens played by Anne Hathaway she goes to a concert of you know the late or what is it the big concert festival in California Coachella yes Coachella she takes her daughter and her friends they're like 16 um, to see the biggest you know the big boy band um she accidentally wanders into one of the singer's trailers. They meet, and they start a relationship. And he's like, what, 15 years younger than her? Yeah, he's 24, 25. And so all of the ups and downs that come along with that, because, of course, that throws her into public life. Um, it's I thought it was very believable because uh, he looks like an older 25-year-old to me. I mean, so he, he looked older than his character's age, and she looks younger than her character's age. So I kind of bought them together. In reality, I could never see somebody doing that except for her character's husband had left her for a younger woman. And so I think she just was... Maybe somewhere in the back of her mind getting revenge. I think there's a lot of headlines in Hollywood that are older women with younger dudes. Yeah, it's more common. And just this week, Cher came out saying... Hers is a baby. Yeah, all of her people are dead. So, I mean, people (laughs) her age are dead. So she has to date younger men. (laughs) 
I think she could be his grandma. That's a whole other yeah. level of odd. But, uh, um, but uh, it is, um, it's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, and it wasn't the best movie, but it it was by far uh, worth the time, I think, especially when you can enjoy it at home on a rainy night. Real quick, someone asked about Challengers. Oh, yeah, that's the one we talked about last week. I was not, there are some great parts of it, a great ending Great story, but there were just some cringe scenes for me. Um, that's the one with the, the tennis players. Gah, yep, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, Tanya, thank you so much. You guys stick with us. we got more for you coming up next.